Okay, a few months ago, I did um, this Favicon in Bootstrap Studio video. Um, when I've noticed the other day when I was doing the video with uh, about this little demonstration I'm doing about how to publish websites and stuff like that, and um, the SEO sitemap thing I did the other day, I noticed that actually there's a simpler way to do favicons in Bootstrap Studio. Okay, so I'm just using this as a demonstration again. Um, you can use whichever website you're working on or whatever. And okay, so if you just go to for for those that don't know what favicons are, these are just um, you see where Amazon, you see the little logo thing, Outlook, and you see that on YouTube. So they all you know very noticeable, um, and that's what you instantly see really. Well, it's instantly what I see on websites. Um, so on here, we'll go to the settings and go to SEO, right? Search engine optimization, for those again that don't know. And we go to favicons or fav icons. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. But anyway, I'm not sure whether it's actually that helpful in search engine optimization, but it's always good to have them. If we just get rid of this. Okay, so here's the um, fav icon, 16 times 16, um, 32, 32, and um, a few bigger sizes and that. What you really need if you're going to do fav icons is just to use a smaller one, uh, 16 by 16 or 32 by 32. And anyway, you need a P PNG file. Okay, so if you're doing the images, um, you know, you've got a few here that's already inbuilt okay and but if you obviously want to know want to use your own image i'm just going to use any old png uh file but you should really do a 16 times 16 or as i say a 32 by 32 image and this works okay uh, so these here are just PNG files and I'm just going to stick any other one on. These aren't, you know, cut down to a size at all, but I'm just going to do this as a demonstration. So it gives you some pointers of what to do. Um, right, I'll just do this one here. Okay. And when that loads, an image was imported. And it should be here. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. So this here is now your 16 by 16. This is actually a 13 by 50 times 722. Of course, you wouldn't use this, but as I say, I can't be bothered really to cut them all down. Um, I've done that in the other video. So, okay. So just save that. All right. So go to the publish here on the right hand side. Publish in your website. Your website was published. Okay. So now we just load that up in um, Microsoft Edge. Okay. And there you see at the top where it's not uh, zooming in today, so I don't know what's wrong with that. But anyway, you see actually at the top there's an icon there. If that was your image in, you know, of your logo or your business site, or your website, or whatever you want to do, that's what we're saying there. So all, in a nutshell, what you'd be doing is, you know, just putting that in the uh, where it says where I said settings and that, and you just do your own. Um, favicons and that makes it very easy you know like sort of to, to do the website really does it for you okay so i hope you've learned something from that if any questions just get back to us